Hello, everybody. I'm Kenneth Copeland. Merry Christmas. This is Wednesday, day after tomorrow. Oh, my mother, of course, I was born December the 6th, so Christmas was so huge oh, in our house. Oh, it was. And, and mother always wanted to get the tree up by my birthday. And I was the, I was the only child, and I couldn't stand it. <laughs> From the 6th, to the 24th. I mean, That's not oh, it was, it was torture. It was, <laughs> you know, and I just, I lived for it. And it was just such a wonderful time in our house. And it still is in our house today. And when we're still traditionally Christmas Eve openers, I yeah. couldn't stand it till Christmas <laughs> morning. I just forget that. But mother would say, okay, we'll do it Christmas Eve. But we always, my mother, she was such a Christmas person, and, and but always, always before I could open any prayer. I mean, I'm standing there like this. I want to rip into this. Not till we pray and thank Jesus for the whole thing, mm -hmm. every time. And here we are. It's only day after tomorrow. <laughs> little boy, settle yeah, down. Little it was boy. <laughs> it was always it was always the day after tomorrow. Are you kidding? And of course, <laughs> school was out. It'd be the Christmas holidays. And, ha! It was just the most wonderful time of life, and it yeah. still is. Praise and I praise you, Father. Oh, Lord, we thank you, and we just praise you. Jesus. We worship yeah. you today. <clears throat> You're just so wonderful and Hallelujah. so good to us. We just, we're just blessed beyond you measure. You are Christmas, Jesus. And we thank you praise for being God. born. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> thank you, Lord. All this week, we're... We're, we're step, it's like you've heard me say it before, particularly if you're a partner of this ministry. You, you go along looking at things and, and suddenly you see some, I see scriptures that I have been reading for 50 years and all of a sudden it just goes widescreen. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and you just see more and more black, and more. Black, from black and white yeah, to technical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and widescreen. <laughs> and uh, I mean, you know, Gloria and I go back far enough to where, particularly when I was a little kid, uh, you know, movies were black and white. Mm -hmm. And I remember when color came in, <sighs> it was such a wonderful story. It demanded to be filmed in color. <laughs> and we thought, is he never going to get any better than this? Anyway. Well, I remember when I was your personal remote control. <laughs> oh, oh so yeah. Can I change it? Will you change that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise God. Let's go to the book of Matthew. We looked at John. We've looked at Luke. But there's some things in Matthew that are very unique and give us real insight into this wonderful story. Let's go to the 18th verse of the first chapter. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, being a righteous man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. A just man will not make a public example of his wife. No. You don't, you don't go when the friends come over or something and then just start belittling your wife and just talking her down in front of them. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't say something crosswise of her Christ. under any circumstances. There's no way. I mean, I've been married to this woman for 58 years and <laughs> I love her more today than I did at first and I fell in love with her the first day I met her. And it, it, hey, no, listen, she's, she's still this little glow to me. And, <laughs> but I, I've, I've seen people do that and just making fun. No, that's not making fun. It's stupid. I can attest that in almost 57 years, I have never heard you say anything but wonderful things about 
my mother. Well, there's not anything about her that's not wonderful. Well, that's, she does <laughs> make that easier. But, <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, all but, I, I've watched but just, you just, just men and just wives yeah, don't do right. that. Nor is she about you. No, yeah. you just don't do that. Anyway. It is possible. <laughs> while he thought on these things, so he took time to meditate on this. He didn't just jump up and accuse her. And, mm -hmm. But now look at this. The angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, <clears throat> fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. For that which is conceived or begotten in her is of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Spirit of God. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus or Savior. That's what that word means. Yeshua, Savior in Hebrew. That's it. Hmm. Now, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now, all this was done. Now, look, look, hey, get this. See all this, all this on the left side over here, this first covenant? It's all about Jesus. It's all about him. Now listen, this is so good. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. All right. Isaiah 7 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. It had already been spoken by God, so it had to come to pass, and it had to come to pass on that day. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And Gabriel came down and talked to her. But now, see, mm. remember what Jesus said, if you receive the one I send, you receive me. And if you receive me, you receive the one who sent me. God sent Gabriel. Mm -hmm. So he came from the presence of the Most High God and brought that message. Mm. So it, 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 it was literally God standing in the room. Praise because I don't, it just, it just, it just gets to me. That's all there is to it. the accuracy and the, un, the uncanny timing of God. Amen. Praise God. So exactly. now, Everything everything, exact. it's just, just absolutely exact. Yeah. Then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took unto him his wife. And he knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and she called his name Savior. Praise. She called his name Jesus. <laughs> I love it. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east. About that time, the New Living says. Yeah, about that. About that, that yeah, time. About, and, and I think the classic <laughs> Amplified says that. About that about time. About that time. It was time for it. <laughs> yeah, right on time. Now, no telling when they had to leave to get there on that time. It's true. It's true. Now, it just says wise men from the east saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Where is he? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. 
when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Now, wait just a minute here. Just said kings. Then say three kings. But they are kings. Now, they brought three gifts. We'll, we'll see that. But there were enough of them to stir up all of Jerusalem. So they didn't just kind of sneak in to town and sneak out again. Now, I mean, hey, they're kings. They've got an entourage with them. They, they have guards of protection because they, they came from, from the east and they came through some some really dangerous places. No telling how long they were on the road to get there. Hmm. Camel travel is not all that swift. It's better than that donkey, but, it, but anyway, I mean, this, this, these guys came a long ways. So there was enough there to stir up the whole city of Jerusalem. The whole thing was all, all up in the air over all this. So when Herod the king had heard all these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had <laughs> gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets. And everything goes back to the prophets. That's what prophets are. That's what, <laughs> that's what they do. <laughs> Thou Bethlehem in the land of Judea are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a gov governor that shall rule my people Israel. All right. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently, what time the star appeared. They definitely had his attention. Oh, they had his attention, and he's not <laughs> liking what he's hearing, and all of Jerusalem is all up in a roar about it. What is this? Well, you know what they were all saying. You mean to tell me this might be Messiah? Come on. What? what what's going on? What? Look at who are all these people. Look at this fancy bunch. I mean, they're rich. They're rich. Where'd they come from? I mean, all of Jerusalem was, was buzzing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. So traditions. Now there's not anything all that wrong with them, but the nativity scene is a composite scene. The wise men were not there. And it's, you know, Mary and Joseph and the wise men and so on and so on. It's a composite scene and it's, it's sweet and I love it, but it goes deeper and further than that. And if that's all you know about it, you're completely ignorant of everything that happened here. So politicians and, and, and demonic people can belittle it and, well, they shouldn't take that away from me. Well, and then somebody comes up and says, why? I don't know why, but now I know what that represents. I know what was going on. I, I know all of this. I, I, it was all prophesied in exact days and exact hours and, and, and the, the time that Mary and Joseph took them over 20 days to get from Nazareth to Jerusalem and just in time for her to have the baby in a manger. Well, what does that mean? In a barn? No, 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 no. Have you ever thought about what that was, yeah. could have been like for Mary? Don't do that, Gloria. <laughs> I'm telling you, she was of great faith. Well, the miracle, the because it took over 20 days for them to get there. Mm. And when you stop and think about it, well, oh, Lord, but now she's got to be in Jerusalem. He's got to be circumcised at eight days. She just had this baby. How's she going to walk back? She didn't walk back. Is only five miles, only five miles from Bethlehem to, to Jerusalem. And she's miraculously healed. Yeah. And they went to Jerusalem and were there on the eighth day 
and the Son of God was circumcised. Isn't it? I just, but when, when you put all these pieces together, that I don't worship that nativity scene. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's nice. And I'm not going to let somebody take it away from me just because they don't like it. No, no. But it's not the nativity scene that, that stirs me up. It's the uncanny accuracy of the Bible, the Word of the living God, everything right exactly when it needed to be on time Amen. in every incident in the Bible, every single one of them. You know, All of God the types. Has a history of that. He does. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. I mean, he, he invented time. There was no time. He's always now. He invented it and then he controlled it. The way he invented it, when he put the planets in their place. Now, that meant that they were all timed perfectly. That created time because this little planet Mm -hmm. was the garden spot of the universe. The most important thing God ever created because upon that he put his man. Praise God. And so time began. Yeah. It took the earth so many seconds, minutes, and hours to rotate in this direction. It took so many minutes and hours to rotate at the same time in this direction around the sun. Time mm. was born. Praise and it's, oh, mm. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sitting here just kind of floating away. Exact. <laughs> Everything exact. And all we have to do to fit into those times, the word says that he holds my times. All I have to do is to let him do that. All I have to do is have an open heart to what he's telling me and walk by faith. Cause the heart that Mary had to have to just say, whatever, you know, I'm your handmaiden. But then I was just, I've never struck me before how much of an open heart Joseph had to have because he was not, he didn't react, he was considering. He had a heart that was open to possibilities of how he was going to react. You know, he was considering before the Lord. And that's when the angel came and said, this is what you need to do. It's like, okay, that's what we'll do. But he wasn't just reacting with, well, I have to do this because she did that. He had an open, God chose him just as surely as God chose Mary. And the things that he's chosen us for, all we have to do is Follow uh, God. Yeah. Is fit, is just let him do it. That's he right. was already in love with her. He didn't fall in love with her after he found out she was going to give birth to the Son of God. He was already in love with her. Yeah. He loved her and, and he didn't want to make a public example of her. Mm. He just he loved cared her. For her. He cared for her. And take, took care of mm-hmm. her and did exactly what God told him to do. God chose well for Mary and Jesus. It did, and it's <laughs> so good. Praise the Lord. Now, where are you? Search di- in the eighth verse. Search diligently for the young child, and when you've found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over the young child, over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, see that they were not at the manger, they came into the house. Mm -hmm. We know that he was at least two years old because Herod diligently searched from them. And so he killed all those children, the first martyrs of the church. He killed them. Anything two years old and under, just to get them all. What kind of an animal will do that? A demon-possessed one, that's Mm -hmm. what kind. 
when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts. It, now, it still only said they. It didn't say three. And so it's, it's obvious where this tradition came from, and it was right here. They opened unto him their treasures, their treasures they presented or offered, the cross reference says, unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, I mean, hey, I mean, I mean, you can Google this. You can find it as easy as I did. And that time, the frankincense and the myrrh was worth as much or maybe more than the gold. They were very rare. They were, they were obviously as rare as the gold. And, 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 and very sweet perfume and incense, but at the same time, they, they were used for medicine. Hmm. Frankincense is still used for medicine today. Hmm. And so there, there, were, there were herbs and so forth. So now keep that in mind. When, let's keep reading. Being uh, frankincense and myrrh, being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the when they left, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph. This is not in a dream. The angel himself came to him. Now, what angel? The angel of the Lord, the same one that spoke to Mary. Hmm the same angel. Now he gets to see him. He only saw him in a dream, but Mary had seen him and yeah. talked to him face to face. And the thing that she said, how shall I know this thing? I don't know a child. And, and, and then he told her, it is of the Lord. She said, be it done unto me, according to your word, be it done unto me as you have spoken. That has become a word on the inside of me. Mm -hmm. I found it in the Word. Oh, my Father, oh, Lord Jesus, be it done unto me according to the way you have spoken. And we're out of time. Praise God. That only took three minutes. <laughs> it seemed wow. like. Gloria and Kelly and I will be back in just a moment. for the new year. Set your eyes on what is ahead with the 2021 Kenneth Copeland Ministries calendar. Be encouraged year round with uplifting scriptures to keep your words full of faith. Each calendar day contains a Bible in a year reading plan to add to your daily devotional routine. Meditate on the scriptures and write down what God is speaking to you. Stretch your faith and believe God as you set monthly goals and note your progress throughout the year. Use the calendar to write down your victories and be reminded of God's goodness. Look for the KCM meetings scheduled in 2021 and make your plans to join us at a victory campaign, believers convention, or other special event. Step into the new year in faith with the 2021 Kenneth Copeland Ministries calendar. What a time to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Oh, yeah. Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, a, what a, you know? That's what Christmas is all about. That's what it is all about. And Jesus did all the hard part. Yeah. It is so easy. He did all the dying. He, he went to hell and paid the price and was raised from the dead and is now seated at the right hand of, of the Father on high. He did all the hard part, but he couldn't pray our prayer. I remember exactly where I was when I prayed the prayer. I remember exactly where Gloria was when she prayed the prayer. She prayed it first, and then, and, and then just two weeks later, here I came right behind her. And everything changed. 
But she and I both were scriptural illiterates. We did not know anything about the Bible. We knew we didn't know. We knew we didn't. (laughs) And that's the reason that we're going to pray here in just a moment. Praise God. But that's the reason that this little book was put together. It's so simple. It's only five chapters. Welcome to the family. God's will is the Holy Spirit. Now are we in Christ, the force of righteousness and love, your secret to success. And then how do I study the Bible? I don't know how to study the Bible. Well, it's, it's that easy. You can fit it on a flyer. Yeah, <laughs> how to study the Bible. And you come over here. What is Young's Analytical Concordance? What's Strong's Exhaustive Concordance? What's Vine's Expository Dictionary of Biblical Words? What's Expositions of the Holy Scripture by Alexander McLaren? Uh, 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 and read through the Bible in one year. And it's all free. All you got to do is ask for it. Amen. Thank you, Father. Everyone in the sound of our voices this day, I lift you up to Him. And We are going to lead you in this very, very simple prayer. The 10th chapter of the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul, by the Holy Spirit, wrote these words. Whosoever, that's anybody, whosoever believes in their heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confesses him as Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Shall be saved. For with the heart, men and women believe under righteousness or right standing with God. And with the mouth, they confess that he's Lord. Mm. It's that simple. Amen. If you've never accepted him or if you want to renew this thing, it's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Just pray it out loud enough you can hear it with your own voice. Oh God in heaven. Oh God in heaven. I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart. That you raised Jesus from that the dead. You raised Jesus from, from the, the dead. dead. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Take my life. Take my life. And do something with and it. Do something with it. You're my Lord. You're my Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. To overflowing. To overflowing. I repent of sin. I repent of sin. I renounce the devil and everything he stands for. I renounce the devil and everything he stands for. You're my Lord Jesus. You are my Lord Jesus. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, remember this, Jesus is Lord. Request your free salvation package today. Simply email us at partners at kcm.org.uk. Believe God to bring new visions, His manifested power, and great change in your life.